Hi, this is Clara for Blockchain of Things. In this tutorial, we'll create a flow containing the List Issued Assets node. If you don't know what a List Issued Assets node is, make sure you check out the previous video titled Understanding the List Issued Assets node. Let's get started. Drag and drop a List Issued Assets node into your workspace. Double click it to display its properties slideout panel. On the Device drop down field, choose your Catenis virtual device. Add the node's configuration information based on your needs to each field. Wire this node to a debug node and open the debug sidebar. Next, drag and drop an inject node to the node red workspace. Wire the inject node to the list issues asset node. Then double click the inject node to open its properties slideout panel. Select the drop down payload field and choose the JSON type. An ellipse button will appear to the right of the field. Click this ellipse button to display a JSON edit box. Enter the JSON information you wish to pass as input to the Catenis node, for example, something like this. Click the Done button. Then click the Done button again to exit the Properties dialog box. Click the Deploy button to deploy the flow. Now, let's test the flow. Click the button on the left of the inject node to send the input from the inject node through the flow. The debug sidebar should display the returned JSON object containing the API call results to the right side of the workspace. Great work! Now that you know how to create a flow using the list issued assets node in runtime mode, you're ready to learn how to use this node in interactive mode. Check out our next tutorial to learn how.